G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I'm working on the old ute at the moment, the old Tata, which uh, is uh, like uh, 20 odd years old. And uh, anyway, the alternator's shot, so I had to put another alternator on it. A new, well, we try and get a second hand one's too expensive, and the dealers have ripped the hell out of you. So I got a new one, an aftermarket one, which wasn't too bad. And had to sit down to Queensland. The guy said, oh, yeah, sure, bolt straight on, mate, no problem. Yeah, sure, like, uh, when hell freezes over, I suppose it will. So I had to do quite a few things on the uh, on the aftermarket one. Anyway, we're nearly there. The last thing to do is to put the oil feed line on for the vacuum pump. This is for a diesel motor. They have to have artificial vacuum for the power brakes to work. And it's held on with a banjo bolt, or banjo fitting and a bolt. That's the banjo bolt. It's the right size, but it's the wrong thread. This is UNF. And this is who knows what. It probably could be BSF. Doesn't matter anyway, it won't fit. So I've got to make up a new bolt for the banjo. And I was going to go out and buy one, and I thought, ah, oh, I'd probably slug the earth for it. And I could make one of these up. I mean, this is a pretty simple job. So that's what we'll do. We'll make one up. So we'll start off with a UNF bolt. I don't know uh, how fine this is. We'll, we'll find out when we get into it. And there's two ways of holding it. I can hold it like I'm doing it here, or I can hold it in a collet and come in from the end, but I prefer to do it this way, because I can see exactly what I'm doing. So it's centered, I don't think it will move, and I centered it by using the tail stock. You put a collet the right size in the tail stock, and uh, put the bolt in, and wind your tail stock forward, so that'll centre it, then do up your vice, um, your chuck. Everything should be symmetrical now. Now it's just a matter of centre drill it, which I'm about to do, and then we'll drill through to the depth we want, which is going to be about here. And then it's a matter of do the cross drilling. I'm doing it in the three jaw because there's three holes. Some have two, some have three. This one's got three, so I'll just use the jaws for indexing. It'll be accurate enough. And uh, once you've done that, cut it length and you're good to go. So first job, centre drill it. If this job misbehaves, I'll mount it in the collets. I think I'll probably be alright. Just take it easy. Uh, it's drilling okay, so it should be alright for the job. Alright, so now we'll do a bit of measuring. Now we want to drill to here. So that will give us 30 mil. 30 mil will do it, I think, because the tape will go up a little bit further. So we'll go 30 mil. Okay, so we'll drill the centre out up to here. You know, it's 30 mil plus the taper. So we've got 30 mil to the end of the taper. We've zeroed the quill and the tail stock. So now we'll go 30 mil on the tail stock. The other way to do it is to measure along and mark. You drill with a bit of text to pen, but this will do it. Could have saved drilling by cutting the bolt to length first, but I didn't. 
deliberately because if I do have to mount this in the collar it just starts wobbling but I want some good length there so a bit of extra drilling won't really matter so now I will take this out put in the collet, this collet and we'll support this end with the collet. I mean I could support it with the live centre as well but I'll support it with the collet as I've got the collet chuck going and then I'll just cross drill with the mighty little 775 cross drill into the gallery in three places measure it up, cut to length once again with the little cross drill which can cut as well job done Okay, swap over the drill and we're good to go. Play safe on this. Just, uh, we might have to do the centre a little bit deeper. We'll just see. Five mil by one mil or not oh not point eight this one is. Cut off disc, so this will do the job very nicely. We'll just put a bit of newspaper down to catch the nasties, although there are gremlins down there already. It all has to be cleaned up, but I will put newspaper. It's always a good idea. 18 mil. We'll do the final bit. Actually, I had a viewer ask me what uh, Wang was, and I replied back and said, oh, Wang is actually the opposite of Wong, uh, being facetious, and uh, he never got back to me again. And I bet a lot of people out there don't know what Wang is or was. And Wang was one of the major computer companies in the world that has since gone belly up or been bought out. And when I was working in IT, we used to get uh, the reps come around, give us little samples of things, including my my well-used Wang ruler, which I've had for a very, very long time. So any uh, IT guys out there, you'll get a kick out of this, I think. Wang, opposite to Wong. <laughs> right, let's do it. We'll crank up the revs. Fire up.
So there you go, job done. That's the original from the old alternator. This is going to be the one for the new alternator. Got the extra depth on the thread. Not that it really needs it, but thought it might as well use up the gallery. The hole is slightly smaller, but the actual feed hole at the end of the gallery is smaller than that even, so it's not going to matter. Also, they've uh, shaved a bit off the edges here just to sort of make it look a bit cleaner, I suppose, but in actual fact, it's not necessary. I've used plenty of banjos fittings over the years, and quite often they're just like this, and that'll do the job nicely. So there you go. That's how you make one. Piece of cake. Must be uh, time for a beer. Getting pretty warm down the shed here. We're getting into 42 degrees for the next four days. Whoa, baby. I better check the beer supplies. Okay, that's it for me. See you next time. Cheers.